All right, guys, last but not least, this is a, a demo of PhotoTune from On One Software. We're here in Aperture, and I'm going to use the, uh, the Aperture plugin uh, just to show how it works inside of this program. So this is a, a portrait that I took, uh, and as you can see, there's a, there's a few color issues with it. It's, uh, it's a little, uh, little cool for my liking, so we're going to try to take it into PhotoTune and, and use uh, the, the Pro mode to enhance the, uh, the warmth and the vibrance of the skin and the, and the colors in the image just to bring some life to it. So uh, from Aperture, all I need to do here is right-click and choose Edit with Plugin. I'm going to choose PhotoTune 3. It'll ask me if I want to load it with any presets. I don't. I'm just going to hit Open here, and that will launch the interface for us pretty quickly here. And um, there, there is a, a wizard mode that you can walk through for uh, images with people, and then there's a, another wizard for images without people. And it'll just walk you through step by step how to enhance the image. Um, and it just gives you kind of like an eye doctor uh, type feel where it says, is this better or is this better? And you pick which one and it walks you through. Uh, that's certainly an option. Uh, for any any you know somewhat experienced users with correcting color, you're probably going to want the the power and control that you have in the pro mode. So um, uh, this is what the pro mode looks like. You have a few different sections up here for tone, color, skin tune, and detail. And all you have to do is just grab the image and drag it around, and that'll affect the before or the the after part of the image rather. And uh, that's one way to do it. It's not my favorite way. I'm going to hit Command Z to, to undo that. I like to use the arrow keys to make you know pretty subtle adjustments. So I'm just going to take the, the brightness up by hitting the up arrow and just get the brightness to where I want it. And then give it a little bit of a contrast boost. I don't want to give it too much. Um, brightness up a little bit more and just get it to where it looks good. So as you can see here, this is my before and after. It's already starting to look better. When I'm done with that, I'm just going to hit color. And this is um, this is one of the interfaces that I don't really um, favor a whole lot. It's just like any of the others in PhotoTune where you can grab the image and move towards yellow, move towards blue, move towards red, uh, cyan, whatever you want to do. And sure, that's great. But again, I just don't like the drag feature. Some people love it, it's just not for me. Uh, what I'll do is just go over here. I want to add some uh, some warmth to this, so I'm going to grab the yellows and just grab the slider and start moving it up until I have it to where I want it. And um, when you drag a certain slider, it's going to disable some and enable the others. Uh, with my yellows, I'm going to want to bring some reds in as well. To, uh, to the skin, and as you'll see that it starts bringing out some vibrance in the shirt there. Pull back that vibrance just a tad. Let's bring it up there, about five, all right. And um, I've got this image pretty close to what I'm looking for, so uh, the skin tone looks really nice, but I'll go into this, uh, this feature here just to let you know how it works. You can grab the, uh, the eyedropper here, come over to your original image and pick a mid-tone in the skin to sample from. And if your skin tone's off, it'll correct it. You can see there that it was pretty, pretty spot on, so it's not gonna make any noticeable changes, at least to me. But uh, nonetheless, you can still, I'm gonna get rid of this eyedropper, you can still drag the image uh, up and down, I believe, well, maybe not. Uh, or use the arrows here to adjust warmth up and down. So uh, I'm going to get it just a little bit warmer than it already was, and then you can go right or left to affect the hue of the image. And that's going to be a much more subtle change. Uh, last but not least is the detail section. And this is a section you can use if the detail is already not, uh, or not already where you want it. In this case, I've already added some detail to the hair uh, to the clothes here and, and the certain parts of the skin and eyes and whatnot. So I'm going to leave uh, the detail the way it is, but you do have that option here. And when the Im image is uh, done and where you like it, you just hit apply. 
and it will uh, re-import that new image or uh, import it rather into Aperture as a new uh, version of the original image. So if I hit the left arrow key here, you'll see the uh, before and this is after. And that is uh, Photo Tune from On One Software.